Thank you all so much for joining us today. I have the pleasure of speaking with Mara Schmidt, the head of sales for Coinbase Cloud. And Mara, congratulations on the new Node launch. Can you tell me a little bit about what that is? Yeah, definitely. It's really, really exciting. We've spent months working on this and excited to bring it to market. So um, just maybe recapping a little bit about Coinbase Cloud and our broader strategy before we dive into the launch. So Coinbase Cloud is really exists to empower builders in Web3. And we're there to empower builders and developers of all shapes and sizes. So what our Node product does is effectively allow smaller developers to access read-write node infrastructure across a variety of different blockchains. And that's what we launched today. Yeah. And can, can you tell me a little bit about the timing of this launch? Yeah, for sure. So I think um, looking at the market generally, we've seen incredible momentum in just the amount of developers that are coming on to build on Web3. We're seeing them coming in from traditional Web2 space. We're seeing them building in, inside of enterprise companies and really building credible protocols that are you know, starting to, to proliferate in the ecosystem. Uh, one thing that we started realizing is that one thing that developers are missing today is the right tools, capabilities, and APIs uh, to build with more ease, to build with more security, to build in a way that allows them to scale across different blockchains over time, right? And our Node product is really, you know, a part of the strategy to empower Web3 builders with the right tools in order to bring great products to market and help the industry grow. Can you walk me through like one or two of the customer journeys? Absolutely. So. Um, our foundational products are really there to empower builders that are building any type of use case. So within our Coinbase Cloud suite today, we support infrastructure products, such as our node product, as well as staking capabilities that allow token holders and builders uh, to use their tokens inside of networks for validation. We have payment on ramps as part of our Coinbase Pay product, commerce APIs that facilitate payment transactions. So we have a really great stack of core technologies and capabilities that people can implement to enable and power a variety of use cases. So one great example would be someone building out a use case for NFTs. Let's call it an NFT marketplace. There's foundational capabilities that you would need to implement in order to interact with NFTs, to interact with the blockchains, and we provide a variety of those. So Node would be a really great example um, of a foundational infrastructure product um, that an NFT use case would leverage, right? Um, another great example would be, say, a fintech company is looking to provide a new product to their users that allows them to interact with digital assets. So one of the core capabilities that we offer with inside of our um, technology stack is actually staking infrastructure. And we offer that across 25 different protocols actually today. Um, yeah, so that's a core capability that we've implemented with customers such as Current, which we've announced publicly. Um, to really power those types of futuristic and Web3 powered uh, core technologies um, for a variety of different businesses. Now, what blockchains is this built on? We power a variety of blockchains across our core products today. Um, our traditional, what we call our enterprise product for Node, um, operates across 25 different protocols today. So we have a lot of breadth of coverage. I think the most important thing to note is that each and every blockchain is a little bit different. And one of the main uh, challenge that builders have when building on top of these blockchains is the fact that each blockchain is a little bit more nuanced, requires a different application to build on top of. So what we're basically doing is abstracting away from some of those complexities and allowing developers to interact with blockchains, reading and writing to those blockchains in a much more you know, easy manner. Um, and that's really what we're supporting through the product. How many clients are you targeting? And so I think there's, um, you know, a, an increasingly growing space of clients that we target. So we really support the breadth of clients from an individual builder all the way up to a Fortune 500 company. And as the space is evolving, we're seeing incredible traction across the board in each and every one of these segments. We're seeing a lot more activity with major existing companies, whether they're in the tech space or the social media space, whether they're financial institutions, and we're seeing incredible on-ramp, and you're seeing more and more news coming out in the media about new Web3 strategies that these businesses are launching. And similarly, we're seeing a lot of activity on the developer side. So developer activity has somewhat hockey-sticked over the last couple of years, and we're seeing more and more builders building on more and more diverse blockchain ecosystems. 
right? So we have tremendous activity inside of the Ethereum ecosystem and we're seeing a lot more blockchains that are getting that type of traction uh, with industry specific use cases. And my final question for you, are you a Web3 maximalist or skeptic and why? <laughs> Not to give it away, but by my job, I am most definitely a, a, a Web3, you know, maximalist. In many ways, I think this is kind of the framing that I use, but it happens often with um, emerging technologies that are, you know, fundamentally creating new patterns and opportunities for us to evolve the way that we interact, the way that we build solutions, the way that we construct incentives, and that's exactly what Web3 enables, right? And, you know, at Coinbase, we're incredibly passionate uh, to help the adopters of the future you know, ramp up to this technology. I think what's really interesting is that there's always this period of time before we get to mainstream um, where you know, the framing is very much around you know, are you building as a Web3 native company or are you transitioning to be a Web3 native company? A couple of years ago, that's how we t spoke about companies that ramped up to the internet, or maybe that ramped up to cloud computing. Mm -hmm. Now we just call them companies that rode the wave successfully and continue to operate in staying ahead of the curve. And that's kind of what we're starting to see in the space now, where a lot of major you know, ecosystem players, industry players, and participation is really starting to take foothold. Thank you so much, Mara.